in Jesus' name. Holiness Revival Movement, we are not containers without content. Neither are we shrine without oracle. We are not sepulchre. Tonight, I call to back that controversial evangelist. You will see her in flesh. Her name is Evangelist. If you call her pastor, pastor she is. If you call her a messenger of God, a messenger of God she is. If you call her a prophetess, a prophetess she is. If you call her evangelist, evangelist she is. But today I'm going to address her as evangelist and the mother of this movement. Her name is evangelist, mommy, Mrs. Pastor Rika Linda. You are welcome to Podoma. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Somebody shout Jesus. You are the God who was, who is, and is to come. Jesus, you are the miracle of King God. You are the God who was, who is, and is to come. Jesus, Jesus, you are the miracle of King God. And you are Yahweh. We honor you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for it today. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are Yahweh, O Lord Jesus. Father, we call upon your presence. Come and speak to us, O God. Come and open the eyes of your children. Come and deliver them, O Lord. Come and write 
write their name in the book of life. Come and give them a new life. Jesus, we welcome you. Father, we pray. Any power of the dark world, any assigned agents, any marine kingdom, power from the pit of hell that have been released against this program today to make your children not to believe all the spirit of doubting, all the spirit of unbelief, those that are hearing us. Father, we pray today the power in the name of Jesus, the power in the name of Jesus, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus, you are Lord. Papa, I call upon your name, O Lord. Let every evil knee, every satanic knee, every marine knee, I command them by the power in the name of Jesus, any power in this area, any physical, spiritual demon, I command you by the name of Jesus, I say let you bow by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cast you out of this place. Any demon following any one of your children here, that we hinder them not to surrender, that we hinder them not to give their love to Jesus. I bind the spirits by the power in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, come and take control. I cover this entire place with the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray you will anoint your word. Your children will obey and they will obey. They will believe. They will repent. Today, Lord, heaven will be rejoicing. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Put your hands together as you take your seat. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I'm so happy to be in Abia State, Umwaya. I've been here for the second time. Hallelujah. I'm happy to be in your midst again. My name is Mrs. Linda Paul Rika. Many people know me as Sister Linda. The sister Linda, and many of you have my CD in your house. You have distributed the CD. You have heard about the CD. You have listened to it before 2013. I'm still a sister Linda. Seeing me like this alive, all the rumor you have been hearing, you will not judge who are the liars. This should have just told you that these pastors that are saying all kind of things about Sister Linda, going up and down, say she has died, you should have known that they are liars. So now you will believe the message of God through me. The Lord dropped it in my heart to give you this message today topic of the message today is Igbos don't go to hell Igbos don't go to hell if you are an Igbo yeah, raise up your hand if you are a born Igbo you know you are an Igbo so raise up your hand the Lord has sent me to you. He said I should tell you not to go to hell. All the evils in the world. The Lord has sent me to you. I should tell you not to go to hell. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm in the land of the evils. Well, come not. And I'm speaking to majority the evils. The message is for everybody, every tribe. But I'm going to center today on the evils. The Lord Jesus gave me this message and said, Go and warn my children the evils. That they should repent of their evil lifestyle and way of Christianity. I want to give you small history, something the good things about the evils. Actually, opera, cocoa, banyere, yedema, banyere, nibo. 
The Igbos have done much in Christianity. They have done much for Christianity. They have made Christianity to be famous. Every part in the world, especially I will say from my own side, I came from Sierra Leone. We became revived by Nigerian churches, especially the Igbo churches, because they are much there. Most of the churches, the denomination, they are, their founders are Igbos. All over the world, you see churches, you will see branches of different churches from Nigeria. Now, the majority of the founders of those churches, those branches, their headquarters is in Nigeria and the pastors are Igbos. Are you talking about the songs of the Igbos? Through the Igbos, the music they are singing, the, the Christian music have revived the songs in the churches. Even we in our country, those days I used to sing, I don't know what I'm singing, we'll be singing Igwe, 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 Oh my nene, Chuke Wego, Oh my nene, Wego, Chuke all this kind of thing, we no, love the Igwe, we don't know what we believe. Igwe, Igwe, I'm not going to be here, but I'm Igwe. The Igbos have done a lot. I love their songs. If you go to our churches on Sunday, you see people practice how to sing Igbo. They don't know what they are saying, the meaning, but they are singing it. They enjoy it. They dance to it. They are singing it. They dance to it. The Igbos have increased the growth of Christianity worldwide. Because through their opening of branches, different countries, different villages, everywhere, people trooping to the churches. The Igbos are serious for God. They are more spiritual. Even to the Igbo in the market, when you are buying something, you will tell, are you sure this thing is going to say, ah, madam, I'm a Christian. Because of their wonderful testimony, if you hear when the Igbos are giving testimony in their church, even their pastors, their geo, their overseer, you will be, you want to serve Jesus. You will join them instantly. They love to praise God. Everything about them, they like do pushing God, like people to know that they are children of God. Even their names, they be a Chuku Emeka. Chuku is God, eh? Chuku Emeka, Chomaka, Choma, Chidima, all these things. Chiki, all these things. You know. Chibu Ebuka, all this time. Chibuka, all this thing. Because she is God, is it not so? Oh, yeah. Name, yeah. So they will put God, delight, God, favor, God, this. So everything about them, they like putting God. The Igbos are good in giving. They have a big heart to give to the house of God. You can see what they can do for God if they are dominated in that church. They believe in giving. Hallelujah. Amen. The Igbos, through their signs and wonders they are doing in their church, their pastors are doing, is attracting people to believe in Jesus. They have carried the gospel very far. They are very serious. It's in the Igbo land. Since I came to Nigeria, we have been going to different places, different tribes, their places. But in the Igbo land, it's cast for you to see mocks. To tell you that you will see mighty church, Catholic church, all these big, big churches. It's hard for you to see a mocks. To tell you that the people are Christians. 
Abu na libo. Ebeni na ina ijegari usioma na alani na ijira ba buburu. Abu na ina na libo kai gabe. Abu so unu ka unu ka ayana ha ho mosque. But the Lord said to me. Onye wa isirim. Many ibos are called, but few are going to make heaven. And it's now the few are working out their salvation. The Igbos are partial Christians, majority of them. The Igbos are partial Christians in the world. Ndibo, na chine kene mwe mwe tuta no to akupu no bubere ha. Even with their church leaders. Obunade, ndi bundisi u kane titi ha. When you divide them like this, one side is for God, the other side is with the devil. Iwere ma kewaha okara. Otu, tinyere kwensun, ozo tinyere chineke. The Lord Jesus say, the same way they are advertising Christianity, the same way they are advertising the evil satanic practices. Otu a kewanya wa isiri, otu a hasi a kwa gide chineke, ne meka anhe adyelu, ka hasi a kwa gide kwa ekwensun, ne meka anhe adyelu. In the churches and in the old world, Na imu nuka, na kwa nambu wa ichi. Everywhere the evils they go, they will bring Christianity, they will bring God. But behind is a little satanic thing. Eh, bobo na hagara, haga, bobo ta chineke mani. Ila anya nakoko, age debe mwenye yire kusu. Majority of them. Oh, tutu ni meha. The Lord say. Onja wa yuwe si. Tell them. Wana. Revelation chapter 3 verse 14 to 19 I'm sending the word to them Akuko mbuge isi ato ahiro kunkiri na na wero na kiri ni tolu Those of us here is that we hear today and they will repent Ndi nkega jinu tata haga anu hage mwako nchegare Revelation chapter 3 Akuko mbuge isi ato From verse 14 Malite na hiro kunkiri na no. And unto the angel of the church of Laodicea and write, this thing said the Amen and the faithful, and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Mmozi nke nona, mzuko nke sadis, degari ya kuko, otu waka mo nke jihova, buonye ji, papa nda saa, otu waka one bu. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I will thou wet cold or hot. Amara mahalo gini ne, amara ni pugoko ijiko kono ni, oka amasin na hindi ipugoko mawo ni juroi. So then, because thou are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spit thee out of my mouth. Ni hindi dengara dengara, ijiko yi ipugoko kono oko ni hinka anga bopu genonum. Because thou says I am rich and increased with goods and I have need of nothing and knowest not. That thou are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Ni ni si na abarama wagaraya. Mani magi ni boni ubiam ni ba kwato. I counsel thee to buy of me gold. Try it in the fire that thou mayest be rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and they anoint thy thy eyes with eye slaves that thou mayest see. Enye ngi ndumodo ki izuru na kam ola ocha nkano chara nkoma ki we we ba ogaranya. Me kwa ku wagi di ocha kagi omwe we gara ebo oto a we hon yi heregi. As many as I love I rebuke and chasten. Be serious therefore and repent. Kahara mundi mhurunanya kamna abaramba. We ono no kunobi biyare kwa nchegari. The Lord Jesus said, you know the works of the Igbos. You are zealous with full of sin. You are busy preaching but in sin. You are busy building churches but in sin. You are busy binding and casting but in sin. You are busy doing money cry but in sin in a moza we ega bo so zo mi si zo to man obodam me the lord jesus say when you want jesus say he both christianity have been covered with traditions and of satanism or to to people who better have a good old man and i will walk on your yana who better question people give their life to jesus but they carry the idol worship they carry the idol worship they carry the tradition with them in the church but how did you man and i will go yaka you cannot serve two masters. Majority of the Igbos, they are idol worshippers. But they are leaders in the church. In fact, the idol is in the church now. Many of them have charm in their hands. 
Many of them still believe in charms. Many of them still bow into image. Many of them still have something in their family that they say, this wood, this stone, this tree, this river, the God of this land, the God of this sea, they, got, they have different names that have been protecting our forefathers. We will continue to sacrifice to him. And many of the Igbos, they still have those things they believe is the, is the God of their family. Many of the Igbo still go to shrines. They still seek the advice of the Juju priest or the shrine priest. They still have their mind believing that if church is slow, I can still go there. So they used to visit there and visit here. Many still consulting the accessory spirits. The God of the sea, the God of the river, they bow to it. Many still break cola dots and whatever palm wine and give it to the gods of the sea. Many parents dedicated their children to these gods. And some of you, you were dedicated. That's why you see in your dream, you see, see Marine coming to you. You say, What have I done? I'm not with them. The person will come to you and say, Your mother have given to me when you were small. Your father, you have been worshipping me those days. Is it because now you have come to the city? I still follow you. Tradition and worldliness is their daily manner. Oh men na in the church they practice all these traditions they bring the flute that they will be blowing behind the masquerade when he's going or when they want to call the demon out the way they blow it that you know that this is the evil tone now they blow it in the church masquerade in the church the father, the priest, they dance with the masculine, the pastors, they, they, the they do traditional day in the church, bringing all kind of evil dressing and charms and all this tradition of their past fathers that did not know God. They recognize it, they reference it, they obey it, they believe in it. The ungodly worship in the church. Because they have learned to believe on charm. Give me charm to believe. To walk that will protect me. Now some of them have grown and said, no, I will not do charm again. The pastors, they now, since they have the mentality of charm, the people believe in idol worship. They now bring another style in the church. Now they will be giving you handkerchief, water, oil, apron. It's the same practice of juju practice. Many they will give you salt that go and put it in your water and drink. They will give you apron and say you are protected, not the blood of Jesus, not Jesus again, not it. Now you are physically seeing the protector on your body. You are carrying a prong. You are carrying oil. You are carrying water. You are carrying and ban. You are carrying calendar of your pastor. You believe on the ash. You believe on the candle. Many things they have given to you. And you are zealously using them. You think you are going to heaven. The Lord say, Ebos don't go to hell. Many still believe in 
much on the image of Mary. You believe so much on the rosary. You believe, believe many things that you bow to an image, that this image will hear your prayer. It will intercede for you in heaven. The Lord has sent me here today. Those that have here that will hear, you will run for your life because very soon the Lord will consume the whole world. <laughs> Aro si we maram na na ono ha unu we fuzi na aga na apu iha na apu apu aro si ni mu noka ufada erebe mariano apu isi ala we nye ya ihendi ani ne ina agu chine kesi mbia dogo do abu ni chenga ni ihendi ya o ega go ku ala mo the churches today in the Igbo land anywhere they go it is a nightclub they dance they dance they dance dance their Igbo dance, dance like this, sing in the Igbo, remember their forefather, oh, those days when we used to dance in the masquerade, they did, they dance, and now they're even bringing the masquerade to come and dance with them. Ndibo, ebo bo na haka roka, ega numpampa, egwa ne teba hu, egwa mena na egwa de nana, obo na haka no no ka, emana oga wuzi, haka rime wo, eba hanka, seductive dressing over their daughters are smelling all over in the church nakedness 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 all in the name of husband nakedness traditional dressing you know you people tradition you have to tie the wrapper on the breast this is how they wed now in the church traditional wedding the bride will put small wrapper the back is out everything and you say you are a child of god you say you are worshiping jesus you don't know jesus <laughs> the love of mama the love of money have down many Igbo soul in hell and it's still damning their soul because Igbos are in love of money they think that without money you can't do anything they can do anything for money majority of the Igbos you will see many of the news that you are hearing in the internet you see in the facebook you see on the tv station that a pastor killed his, his, his wife for money a pastor buried a woman in the altar they saw the pastor with human head they saw a boy with this when you read the story we check their names or whatever majority are the evils doing ritualists <laughs> when you see those that are dying in the desert all in the name of going to abroad europe to make money dying in the sea dying in somebody land just now see what south africans they were doing killing many nigerians if you count nine out of ten is evils many take bribes in the office in their house in their business they do 419 business all these 419 the the the, the tribe that promotes it is the evils all these ritualists all these occultism kidnapping the evil lands the evil land why and after you finish gathering all this morning deceiving people in your business coming to the church be spraying money on the pastor giving building church you have been deceived believing that god know all this money i'm doing i still carrying into the church i still pay tithe i still build house for the house of god i buy car for the pastor the lord said i want to tell you he is not a dirty god he have not been receiving your blood money
God is not mock. Whatever to you sow, you will reap it at the end. You kill somebody for money, your money is blood. What shall it profit you to buy all the cars, build all the houses in Onesha, in Abai, wherever? You are the big Igbo boy, you are the gang, you are the thief. You will die one day and leave all this property behind and go to hell and suffer forever. Please I want you to start displaying something for me Displaying the nakedness of the church The naked dressing of what is happening in the churches today And in majority you see this in all among our evil sisters and brothers Go see Utumu wine si wene chikiranaga church. Utu saboto agano noka. Inanya imerime nime habo ndibo. I will show you videos. There are many. We just cut some of them to show you the practice of what you believe your papa, your this, your priest, your what they are holy and how they are dancing with the devil. One thing I want you to know darkness and light can never blend. Agame go see go to tiyo nyo nyo. Ihendi anine. This is a video, but we caught it. It's a woman who will be proud and saying that I'm a Christian, I go to church. She will be going to, there's a place they call, and that is where she will put the cola nut, go to the sea. You see, they believe that the, the God they have been blessing them for long, so they are still going there. She's still bowing there. And this kind of person, after he finished doing all this sacrifice, on Sunday, she will go back to the church. Onye anwere mu ona age nye iri ona churi aja. Onye yoji, onye yemaya, onye chai hendi ani ne nebo na aga obo choka. Oma uza biano noka. This is the shrine that many are entering. They will go and seek. They will go. You will see rich people. They will park their car, go there, book or not, talk, 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 and come back. And these are elders in the church. Ndi abo ndi isi ni mu noka di chiche. Kabeba na aga arusa na aga chura aja. Ede boko kubala. The different gods. Some of you know them. These are stone. They put palm tree on them, tie it on them, put plenty of fruit under their feet, and they believe. They fear them. Christian fear them. If they put law in the village, say, the gods of this land say nobody should come out. A Christian will fear, hey, don't go out. But when God is speaking to women, don't put on jewelry. They, they, they don't bother. You don't fear God, <laughs> he will soon finish you nenu osisi amabarakwa were okute debe ba nwa nka aba arusi ihu ya ina atu josi hey aka kwana nso mana giwu nwa anya si na chineke sigi eyi kwana olante ina atu jo ekosu mana ida atu jo chine you can see the same place where people will get water they call it blessed river it's on a tv i show it as short screaming you will see they call it blessed water and the priest and the woman that is doing the juju is there sending cola no? they worship the tree Send, point the other picture you will see when they tie red pieces around the tree they worship the tree in the land of the evils you can see <laughs> many are bowing under the image of mary believing that mary is sitting in heaven interceding for you mary don't know what is happening on earth the only person that is an intercessor on our behalf is jesus and he said no knee must bow to any man any image any grieving image all knee must bow to me all prayer must pass through me if you want to see god in heaven jesus all of you that you are busy saying catholic is the first church we born and made this church you are proud of it you believe that this is the church that will take you to heaven the lord sent me to the catholic all these practices you are doing none of you will see his face because you have been judged you have been count for idol worship bearing on an image believing on the rosary praying to the rosary praying to mary listen and listen very well mark it today you will say one day they want me. Nanti koma onye wa isrim zendi fada ni ne uzia. Ki onye na ganeba urumaria. We ne boisha la ni we ne becha plate. We si na na rero ga rero. Au konse mego kai mara na abona ni o tonye na rochi tera ni rero ne ligu a haya bu Jesus. Odi ga hobo na zeni re ne titu mu mariji we wenzo buta na Jesus. Abro ni ngagenti. 
display you can see the tradition this is traditional wedding in the church you see the bridesmaid everywhere with their red bead they are half naked their back is open show you another one again their um, back is open they are proud this is Igbo traditional wedding you see their backs are open go to the next picture this is how some of you are dressed this is how your children are dressed this is how your church members are dressing in the church and you are happy and you are laughing you, you are a pastor this is how they dress now and be wedding in the church and many pastors will be ordaining a nakedness like this and and many Ibos, this is how your daughters are dressing now you are busy following them up and down you say does it matter we want my daughter to show them this is her day by dressing all her breasts out this is how your flower girls in the Igbo land are when they are following the bride naked dresses, seductive dresses how will the pastor not sleep with them how will they not be raping them how will they not do sin with them the boys in the church how will they not be committing fornication how will the married men not be committing adultery by the nakedness in the church today many Igbo young youths this is how they bab their hair and they say they are children of God they are the one playing the keyboard they, in fact they are the one beating that masquerading you are busy laughing they bleach themselves put dread on their head bab their head in the world, wayward life the Lord Jesus told me my daughter there should be difference between the child of the world and the child of God in dressing in behavior in thinking in preaching everything about you there must be different with those that are sinners. But you, you call yourself a born again Christian. You Igbos, you say I'm a born again Christian. There is no difference between your dressing with the prostitute. There is no difference with the corrupt man in the office with you. There is no difference with the worldly nightclub. They are coming to your church the same dance. No difference. Some people don't even go to nightclub again. The church is enough with dance. dada. <laughs> Onye ara nawe na onye isi di mmano di ikaga mo onye bo onye e kwesiri nwe ihe di ichi na onye kwere kwe na onye na ekwege kwe put the picture of the boys many young youth Igbo children what they have been seeing doing the day of masquerade doing the day of wedding their forefather drinking palm oil all this uh, this drinking uh, uh, kai kai all this thing they copy from it they drink in the church after church service so we have small get together they go back of the church compound they share beer they share alcohol they too they are drinking as small as they are many of your children in the Igbo land you know what I'm saying this is how they are drinking they drink like that and nobody stop them this is how many Igbos live their life Saturday, Friday they drink and get drunk and then on Sunday they go to church first mass Oh. They go to church, but they are drunkards. And yeah. It means nothing to them. They don't even bother. They believe that what is it? This is all water to wine. They will be defending themselves. But the devil has blind you. Many of your kind are regretting the day they ne follow the way of the tradition. The pastors will not want you. They will be seeing this kind of thing. Somebody will get drunk in the church. On Sunday, they will give him mic to testify. She's a drunkard. The man is a drunkard. Nobody have won them ever in the church. In fact, the pastor too is a, is a drunkard. He too tips some time. He takes the he be tipsy and be preaching. So they know themselves. This is how the Igbos are living their life and call themselves Christian. The Lord say your Christianity is in vain. You are neither hot or cold. You are with, with the devil and you are with God. You cannot serve two masters. In Nigeria, many people know the Igbos are good in bleaching. This is it. Their children can bleach. The pastors can bleach. The wives can bleach. The members can bleach. Even all women, they like bleaching. 
Alanyi bu Nigeria ama randi bu di kandi icho cha na masi undi oto korobia ni ya icho cha ndi umwa ndi na randi ne weri he mendi ojoji me umwa adio cha. You are not a Christian. Ibu gonye nke Christ. You are just a fan of Jesus. You are not a follower. Ibu gonye nke na etiri Jesus. Ibu gonye ne susa. See how the children that will be initiating them. And you are going for protection when you travel to abroad we need to protect you when you are going to call them we need to do this to you they teach them how to go about to shrine how to sacrifice them virgin days all these things they do it in the ebola and these are the choirs in the church their parents will initiate them into idol worship teaching them this is our culture this is our culture carry them rub chalk on them and then on sunday get a dress when and go to church so the children are in between they still believe the god of their lands and believe church god <laughs> You have teached the children how to sacrifice to God. That if you want money, you have to kill sheep, you have to do this. When they enter deep into the occultism, they now tell them, bring your mother head, bring your father. Are you not the one that showed them the God of the sea? You can do anything for money. Anywhere you see the evil in our country, we don't know about ritualists. We don't know people cutting head. But it came to one time when uh, late Abacha was alive, the president. There was a there was a strike in Sierra Leone. The evil, the Nigerians must go because they started killing our people, cutting their head, killing children got private part. Most of the people the police got, who are you? I'm a Nigerian, they speak. They are like this. They make us to fear. That's why up to now many countries fear the Nigerians. And when they say the Nigeria, if you check, they are the Igbos that went there and bring evil practice to the church, to the people. Na alanye bu Sierra Leone, ayama gi yewe ibu madisi, ayama gi yewe ogwego, mano ongwe ne bu abacha na achi, oboda iwe ne uroko, ogini ne eme, aka na arusu de na bai, e urendi madu. The like practical something to worship. They like it. Give me something. Some of them will not like Ori more. They will not like holiness of our moment. They are here. They say, ah, no, they don't have power. They don't, we don't see, they don't do science. You like practical things. That's why I see your pastors that are oibo. They use charm to deceive people. Because you have used to charm. You have used to practical signs and wonders. No true holiness. No word of God. It's all part of practical things. I'm going to show you here. Oh, for the name of God, when Masi Kuru, Diyosi Oma, in the name of Masi, I think it's here. Habu Kuru, Ndiye Jira Masi, we, Uzo, Hachor, Ebi, Yeni, Nena, Doda. The naked dressing, the seductive dressing, I want to tell you, you young lady that you are here, you are busy prostituting your life because you have made up your, your parents at your age, you should bring money. You want to take care of your family responsibility. That is what is happening. Young boys, they are the one, they don't even bother about school. They quickly look for where they will have power. Go and covenant with the devil. Join this Illuminati. Many are there doing all kinds of things to get money because since they are small, you, the parent, you believe in your tradition that you must have money. You must be rich. The children are wake up in rich, rich. They don't know what to do. They prostitute. They are sleeping with married men. Many of them are up and down doing abalist work to get money. The boys are killing. All the way we are not safe in Nigeria. Most of these things, they kill people for money, cut people. People are not safe. You'll be doing crusade. You are looking time because people are running to go to the house because there are people that are there want to kill, want to kidnap them. And they call themselves Christians, Sunday they go to church. Eh, Majority of them. Majority of them. See the addressing. See how they dress to the church. The pastors don't want them. The pastor will tell them it doesn't matter. The pastor will be sleeping with them. There is an evil pastor that the face is on Facebook that they say he pregnant more than 15 girls. All of them are pregnant. All of them, they are coming to him for the pregnancy. On we wrote to on your pastor. Some of you have seen it. All in a Facebook. All to baro mu abogo irini se ime. Hani ine na be kutese. All get to baro mi me irini se. 
The other one, they caught him. They asked him, he's a prophet waiting. He's a evil man. He was saying, you've seen Onisha. He was saying that they, he gives somebody money to fake the testimony. And then they caught the boy. The boy now says, the pastor, how will you people say you are advertising Christianity and you are dating it again? Why? Why you have given yourself to the devil to use in majority to dirty the work of God. Many people today, when they go to the market, they prefer to buy to a fulani man than a Igbo. They will say, no, go and buy that. That Igbo man will not tell you the truth. They are liars. Oh. Why will people think you are like that? And you are Christian. You say you are Christian. In Nigeria, majority of the Igbos are Christian. They are not Muslim. So when we are talking about Christianity, we are seeing you people. Now Nigeria, Christ, But where is the Christianity? Where is the Christianity? Immorality is smelling among you. Fornication is smelling among you. Drunkenness is smelling among you. I Womanizing is smelling among you. Go to most of the evil like you see hotels everywhere. Why? Because the immorality is high there. Sleep over the weekend. You see cars. Park, park, park. Sleeping with girls. Oh, Allah, you need Jupiter. Who no ring on party? Give me better. Anna, turn down the dinner. Umu abobi and umu korobia. Leaving their wives and they have girlfriends. Anha, pull you your hand on. Anna, chukaru umu abobi. The wife, they don't submit to their husband. I don't give them money to buy a show, care or whatever thing. They have boyfriends too. Oh, for them, one in the day, Anna, I chore go much. I buy a chore no money. Okay, na kagari. The boys are where what the girls are where what. Umu, one o korobi and Nigeria, one home abobi and I chore no. They can do anything to go to abroad. Some will go there and deceive the Oibo and say I'm not married when they are married here. I run allow Oibo. I think I run your chance here. I look at you one year, but we are not. Some will stay in abroad how many years, abandon the wife, abandon all because of money. Oh, for the Gabo, I want your hand all away. Gabo, but you know, to talk for Nani. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world for money and then lose your precious soul forever? Oh, we're going to talk about a matter to one in a new way to fend for a baby. Some of you. You say, I can, ah, this holiness is too much because your mind you are thinking, how can I cause restitute? How can I confess? You know, the way I get my money is done 419, all this cheating, all this debt, all this. I cannot do it. God, God knows this. They are some of you, you know, it's because the sin is too much on you. Oh, for the sin now, oh, dear, 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 things they are doing go see her or to the end of the honey can email check your life to learn to get you have been bound to image in a place have you been doing shirai practice before you come to christ in a night but i was to be better christ you have been eating sacrifice food from the gods taking their be eating some of you contribute up to this time when the when december is coming people are going i cannot go okay you know we have to go and do traditional cleansing for the family. you will give money to them okay on behalf of me you people shall buy you people buy cow buy sheep you people can do the sake cook rice i'm not i cannot call you call yourself christian Oh no, Mara. Oh, to a Christmas in Abia. I got charge. I'm not rusty. The teacher. May he need the teacher. No, Mara. I say, oh no, Mara. I'm not joking. I can't imagine so. My word, neighbor. May I take a The person that is showing you to follow Jesus, see what he is doing. Oh, you're not following Jesus. You see what Jesus? Name your name. The father or the priest is dancing with the masquerade, using the tithe and offering of people be giving masquerades, all in the name of tradition. Play it. Do you think Jesus will be happy? Each and Jesus got you are worshiping idol, giving the tithe and offering of God people to demons. You are, you are pleasing him. And he's putting on his, 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 his father priest cloth that you people say they are holy. This is it. Masquerade is Satan. 
And this one, maybe the Catholic church is we have thousands of people there, they believe and bow to him. Father, lay hands. Papa, lay hands. And oh, the same hand is given to demons. Oh, to Tunduka, Gabi, put the father, sir. Now, if you can say, I can see better, better. My other mom, but you go be bigger. Can you see today? You will serve Jesus. Tata, he get baby for Jesus. You will walk out your salvation with fear and trembling without any man. He got no potential for putting his tender image in it. You will repent and tell the Lord, blood of Jesus, wash me from this tradition thing we have been doing for years in this our land. He get chegar esse chine que vou abrir a Jesus a champona o men a ninti a nina roraro. All this fake Christianity we are doing, we put Christianity before behind. We are evil people. We are idol worshippers. We are ritualist people. We have brotherhood. We have womenhood. We have August meeting. We have September meeting. All these sisters in the law, sisters in the Christ. All these evil things you are doing. You know, you people know what you are doing there. Witchcraft. All they are doing in the church plain. Oh, but I can't see no be. Chine ke dege no no mane kwe su dege no bi Ine me hendi anine Ije mi chine ogos Ika nke september Ne je kun ke december Gini kane me hendi anine Play the other one This one is even in Oibo Oibo country They are introducing it to the white people They are looking at it In the church on Sunday Nka nabo festi kanka neme Ndi bo tire mou weka ni mou noka are you hearing the culture blues they are beating behind? Is the demonic as you people know now when you hear the blue, you know that masculinity is coming. This is inside the church, not even outside the city. Before they preach the gospel, the demon will come and dance first. This is it. See what is happening. See are the Oibo people that are watching. They are in the church. They are entertaining them. And the father there is a is a is a, is a black man. Maybe he's a is a Nigerian man. Come and see. In the church, Father, they carry Christianity and show the people evil practice again. See what is happening. Oh, the people are coming they are now going to take picture proudly the pastor will stand by the the mask they take what's picture you will see all these kind of things and now they will go and say they will sing to jesus now see the priest standing and they are taking picture you can see his collar on his throat you can see the on his road. Many people come and take pictures of the masquerade. And after they finish, they will come and preach. Talk about the power of Jesus. Satan will be laughing. You have used this Satan to welcome the people. You will now say, let's stand up and welcome the King of Kings. You are mocking God. You are mocking God. Your pastors are mocking God. You you are mocking God. Because you are seeing it practically happening in the church, you don't fear God again. You don't fear God. I want to tell you. It is a fearful thing. You fall in the hand of the living God. You will regret why you were created. If you die in this tradition, you will regret why you were created. If you continue to do this kind of thing, you will regret why you were created. If you continue to do this kind of thing, you will regret why you were created. If you continue to do this kind of thing, you will regret why you were created. If you continue to do this kind of thing, if you continue to do this kind of thing, you will regret why you were created. If you continue to do this kind of thing, if you continue to do this kind of thing, you will regret why you were created. If you continue to do this kind of thing, if you continue to do this kind of thing, you will regret why you were created. If you continue to do this kind of thing, if you continue to do this kind of thing, the Ebos, your forefathers, you know they were chronic in this in their hair. Oh, they are crying. They are crying. They are crying. They are 
see. How will my people know that this church we have been is not the way? That this practice we are doing is not the right way? How will my children know that you can't serve two masters? You can't bow to the shrine and then go out, go to the town and worship Jesus. You can't put charm in your pocket and be doing business and then you go and give testimony and say, God have done it for me. You will go and kill cow, you go and kill human being, you go and kill sheep. After you get the money, it's satanic way. You come to the church to deceive people. It is God have done it for me. You will go and kill cow, you go and kill human being, you go and kill sheep. After you get the money, it's satanic way. You come to the church to deceive people. It is God have done it for me. You will go and kill cow, you go and kill human being, you go and kill sheep. Many of you, your name is not the book of, the book of life. All your 40 years, 50 years Christianity you have been doing, I want to tell you if you have been doing it partially, today you will dance in the secret, in the, in the, in the traditional way. Tomorrow you dress like the tradition. Next, tomorrow you go to church. You are not even a Christian. You, are, you don't know Jesus because when you know Jesus, you will know you are a child of God. You are not of this world anymore. Things of this world will not please you. Obu bere giri kwenye nke Christ iria fano iria fise iendi ani ne otu kugi debe chini kena ukunkozo nebe kusina. Iendi ani noka. Very fast, my time is going. This is a water, water that they call miracle water. You will see the Igbo that trooping there for miracle because they like miracles. Play it. Ndi Igbo horo alwe bananya ega humira sano miro alwe. Pause it first. As a woman, so I believe on having this water as I came all the way from Abakeleke down to Pekin. So, by the special grace of God, all those things, problems, and predicament that I'm passing through is over. I saw one man with my cruel, cruel eyes, hair from the brightness, and another person from the saw in his leg, spider came out after entering the water. Who believe that they have the capacity to heal? They are cutting the tree that is standing inside the water. is a miracle now. Yes, please. By boats, done by people scooping clean water to drink and take home for healing and other miracles. Expectedly, every business in Nati community today is booming. Smoker and I'm here, they right. No be smutting. God, yes, is that the way this is that? Money is what is their care for. They don't care about their soul. He had it ever hand, but we got game with it. So now God, now Jesus, I know that. So are you praying for this water to remain and not to dry? If you don't dry, now be safe. It's a long game on it. I had a prayer. Make it not dry. Because of money. The water should not dry. All they care for is my money. Give me money. I say the Igbos are worshipping money. They don't want to know is Jesus happy with our practice? Is Jesus happy with what we are doing? All we know as long as this water is giving us blessing. As long as this church will, will pray, signs and wonder is taking place. As long as I go to that shrine, I, I ask for a child of the a fruit of a womb, they will give me. I ask for this, this water will be giving me. I go and no, I'm not doing anything. All you know is that you are having what you are getting from the shrine, what you are getting from the masquerade, what you are getting for that juju priest. You don't want to know if God is angry or not. And you even say it's God now. God is the one answering prayer. You are playing with fire. A chogging ma, machineco, who be on the young man, he hid a bed, and bagabona, each or on one, and yagging one, each or ego, egobia, he had a chogging ma, or to chinekesi. Where you will carry these innocent children. Carry them and go and put bondage upon it. Carry it back to that woman that is dating. This is how some of you go, we give you a baby, a glorious baby from heaven, where there is no bought on this baby. You will carry this little children to shrine, carry them to do sacrifice, carry them to do this. And now, see this one inside the water baiting the child. When they grow up, they grow with marine spirits. Disturbing. And they are now the wayward ones. See, he's baiting the child, believing that the child is dirty. Oh God, take away. See, believing in the water. Now forgetting about Jesus. Now it's practical water. Mata kirimu kwenye kamba, buri wega na miri, wena saya hana miri, wale nyepi na kamu miri, otonite ya dekusta na chipea. How many of you, your pastor, have carried you to the sea to bait? Mo, madone ni mo no kapa goroga na miri saro. Some of you, you have three churches. You have the churches where you go, they will bait you. You have the other church where you go, they will 
tell you to drink and drink, you have the other church that you go sit down. Anyway, you hear miracle, you are going there. You have Saturday chapter, you have Sunday service, you have Wednesday this, you are just passing up and then looking for miracle. All in the name of God bless me. My business. You have water that you sprinkle in your shop before you open the shop. You are a apple, you are a charm worship. You you, you are not a Christian. I don't oh, know what Play the miracle and see what is happening on Isha. This is the pastor that is making them nine on Isha. This is miracle. This is how Jesus was doing it. Was this how Jesus was doing it? Demons will give them power. They don't have second acts. They don't mercy. Amen. They will do wickedness to you and say it's miracle. Satan is dealing with you people in the church. You are hearing the evil song, song playing behind. They are enjoying. Now they are doing kung fu. They have, the Chinese are not doing kung fu again. Now the pastors are doing kung fu. Now it's kung fu in the church. You can see the dance. The, you check that many of them are drunkards. They, they, they drink alcohol. They you can see the, the dance club. This is dance club. You can see the traditional dance. This is the church of the evils. Many evils are called few are chosen. Some of you, you know the church, you are going there already. You are Believe it, my sister, my brother. You that you are thinking that poverty is a sickness that you must be rich before you die. You, I will do all until I get money. I don't care. When I die, it's done. It is, have no finish. When you die, it started. And the start have no ending. Eternity forever. <laughs> You that the devil is telling you this when you die, you just go off, nothing is happening again, get money here. You believe that there is no war when you die. I want to tell you there is life after death, and that life has no end. If you are in heaven, praise the Lord. Enjoyment, joy, peace forever, you will not see any sorrow. If you die as a sinner, you die as a kidnapper, you die as a murderer, as a drunkard, as a liar, as a fornicator, a adulterer. If you die in sin, the barren to image i don't worship you have charm in your family you still keep that pot your forefather died and you are still sacrificing putting milk putting water putting cola no you are still keeping that stone i want to tell you hellfire is forever you'll be burning 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 forever no ending that is the judgment and the punishment for disobedient children to their creator revelation chapter 21 verse 8 says but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and all mongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You will burn with brimstone. You will burn, burn, burn. You know we serve a miracle God, a powerful God, a God that has power. He will make sure that you are living, you will never die. Not be this fire that will burn your heart, you will die. This one have life the fire have life he give life to you he will burn you and you will not die and this burning is forever this burning is forever 
all the money the gods gave you they say you will live for 80 years you go and sign with your blood i don't mind to be rich for 50 years 80 years 90 years, even 100 years some must say ah if i live 100 years i've enjoyed and let me down go and rest that 100 years is just one day in hellfire that lying tongue that you like lying, deceiving people. You are a liar. You are a liar. Anything you do, you do lie. You deceive people. Rob them from their money. Your lying tongue. You lie to your wife. Lie to your husband. I want to tell you, for that lie that you see, just come on. You will be in hell forever. You will regret why God give you a mouth. If you are an evil Christian, you are doing gossip. You have anger. You are taking bribe. Anything people come and you are the one corrupting the nation. You will take bribe. That's why you see the kidnappers will be passing with, with children they kidnap. And, and then you will see police, soldier, whosoever. They are taking bribe. They will not even check. Just give them bribe and go. It is a painful thing to God. That's why it's only God that is protecting us. I want to tell you, if you are a Christian, you are taking bribe or giving bribe. You too go to office. You don't want to follow the right way. Because you are not righteous. You want to give bribe. Hellfire for corrupting, for doing evil, for polluting somebody is waiting for you. You that you are believing in Jesus. In the office, you have charm. You fight each other. Even in the church, pastor, they charm each other. You charm yourself. In the school, you carry charm. Among your fellow brethren, you carry charm. You have charm. In the compound where you stay, in the village, you have charm on the door. You have charm in your pillow. Have charm in your wrapper. Because you believe that that charm will protect you. When you are doing business, you charm your, your market so that people will come. You are a deceiver. You will go to hell. You are not righteous. You are a fake person. You are doing evil practice. Some of you, you will go to Abalit and say, kill this person. This person helped me. Kill this person. Throw madness on this person. I want this person child to run mad. I want this person child to die. I want this person, this woman to die so that I will take over the husband. You are busy supporting evil, doing evil. Blood is smelling in your hand. And you will go to hell if you don't repent. You are eyeing the other person position in the church, in the office, anywhere. Kill this person. Make the person to have accident. Gang up against the person so that you will take the position. What shall it profit you, my dear? People will not know. You will cover it. But the Lord that seeth all things have seen you. That you are the cause for that man death. You are the cause of that woman death. You are the cause for this man to have accident. You are the cause for this man to fall in sickness. Up to now, the person did not wake up because you have break the person leg under that shrine you have done evil you are the one that give that woman sickness you are the one that made this young girl young boy running mad no matter it, it delay for 100 years you cover it it will be open before the book of life jesus will repay you judgment day if you are here you have you are living in divorce you have divorced your first wife you are remarried and you don't bother to reunite you don't forgive that woman has done bad to me that man has done bad i will not go there again and you are in a second marriage you are in a second and your first wife is still alive your first husband is still alive you are not making peace you are not forgiving each other to come back if you die in that second marriage without forgiving your wife your husband and reunite or stay unmarried you say no the woman have moved on the man have moved on i will marry god knows god say he did not know anything second marriage is a sin you are living in adultery <laughs> 
we ka no onye oso onye nukuru wine ma onye nukuru di abu ni nwo no no da ikage kita na ise chineke kini mere na kini agi mo wunye ka ka business you are a debtor you borrow money from people you like borrow very good but pay back you don't pay you run away you borrow in on a you come to aba you borrow here you go there people come to you to collect their money you are ready to fight there let go to police after us they will ask me when i will pay i will not pay you are bragging when you are suffering people with their own money they you will suffer it in hell if you don't restore if you don't confess if you don't ask for mercy from your debtors Abortion. You, the man pregnated that lady, you are giving her money to do abortion. The sin is on top of your head. You young boy, you are busy sleeping up and down because you see free girls. You girls, you are busy sleeping. Your nakedness is all over. You are sleeping with somebody's husband, putting a sonder between the husband and wife. You are the cause that the husband is not caring for the wife. You the wife, you, you young boy, you are keeping that married woman. You are making the woman not to submit to the husband. Jesus will reward you for that wickedness. <laughs> I don't know the sin you are sitting on. Secret sin. You are a witch. You are a wizard. You are still coming to church. You are the one Satan is using to fight the children of God in the church. You are the one oppressing the people in the area. You are the one killing people in that village. You are killing people to sustain your life. You are all but you are a great witch. You are young, but you are a great witch. Even you call yourself pastor, evangelist, you are a wizard. I want to tell you. The Lord says I should tell you. Everything about you is in his hand. You can deceive man, but you cannot deceive God. You fake people and say you are a pastor, you are a holy pastor, but in the night, you are a secret immoral person. You are a secret idol worshiper. You know where you are getting your power from. from the sea. You are busy laying hands on people dedicated to Satan. You are busy drinking and anointing holy water for healing. You are taking part of all this practice, evil practice in the church. Women wearing trust. That's the Lord says an abomination. You are putting on wivon, putting on eyelash, putting on makeup, earring, wedding ring, all this chain you are putting on the neck to beautify yourself, to look glorious. That's why you see Igbo women, they can do anything because they want to put chain all on their five finger. They want to look great. Tie their show, okay, very big, show themselves. The men can work to get money because they know that they, they want to dress. I want to tell you all this adornment is at the property of Jezebel. And Jesus told me, you see me the way I dress? This was not how I was dressing before. My dressing was like those days of the Igbos. Dressing, putting peach, showing back, belly it out. The Lord visited me and told me, any child of God that want to come to heaven must be holy in their dressing. These are the properties of Satan. These are the property of Allah. Have you not seen when you put them on, men are lost in after you, they are calling you. Even married women, when you are dressing short skirts, painting your face, they, you look like Allah. You will see men are toasting you. You will be saying, ah, but I'm married. Why are they calling me? Because you are like Allah. You are naked. You are not covered. There is difference. And what he Ask some of our sisters dressing like this. So for the moment, when you are walking in the street, people don't even see you attracted. They say, I beg that one now, only only leave her they go. Because you are not in the world. There's nothing attracting them to come to you. Your breast is not out, your back is not out, your, your lap is not showing, your ear is not that wall you ear do, eyelashes not on your lip, uh, on your eyes, on your lip, your nails are not poly. So what will make the man to attract over you? They say, Ah, I beg this one. 
now will only see the way she dressed. This is what God wants. When a sinner see a child of God, they should recognize you. She ne get chora ki ije ngwa gidi kwenye dinso. We you we we ije huri. When you get one, not get a peri nebi no. Abu didi aka she ne get chora ka. They will not carry foolish talk to you. Ha kaga abe gwa go kunzuzu. But married women today, in the office, little boys that you can give back to, they are toasting you because they have seen your lap, they have seen your breast. You are like a alot, way short, a big woman of 50, 60 years. When you bend down, all your breasts is out. And this evil uh, style, they must open the back to show that they have big back, fresh back. You are just working for Satan. I am running up in Isaiah 66 verse 24. For you to know that eternity is so near. Death is sitting by your side. Oh, no, the Beregini Abarabatu. Rapture is by the corner. This two things is following every human being. Some people will say good night, they will not wake up in the morning. Some people will say, I'm going to work. When I come back, we will plan for the, the wedding. We will do. They from work coming back, either he die on, on the road or die in the office or something happened. We will be planning for your wedding. We have had people, even in the day of their wedding, like what happened in Portaco, they were telling us the day of the wedding, they were in the church, and then the church collapsed and killed everybody, both the invitees people. If it be that that person have borrowed money and prostitute or still in the office just for that day of wedding, sin is all around them. And now they have died. They did not even enjoy the marriage. They did not even finish the wedding. They die in the church. The money you will busy be bound to set and give me money. I don't mind. I sacrifice my life. I give my mother head. I give my sister. You will not enjoy it. The devil will kill you. Sickness will come. You will be enjoying it. Accident will take place. Fire break out. Is it not fire break out? That just happened in Indonesia. Kill people. Were they expecting it? Unprepared souls. Some of them, their mind is full of business. Business. They don't have time for God. They die in their shop and go and meet the God they don't have time for. The God they did not obey. The God they did not listen to. The God they did not follow the way to get their money. They follow Satan. Many of them have not make heaven. Isaiah sixty six verse twenty four say, and they shall go forth and look upon the carcass of the men that have transgressed against me, for their worm shall not die, neither they shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. They Air fire is real. I just want to say that air fire is real. God is saying this is in the book of Isaiah. Some of you that are saying which kind of thing is it? This is in the book of Isaiah. God is talking now. Mm. Isaiah. It's in happening in our time. Me, I went to see the people that have transgressed against God. I was part of them. It was grace that brought me back. I went and saw people burning inside hell for sinning, for witchcraft, for lying, different kind of sins. They are crying, asking God for mercy. They are not dying. They are, it's abhorring. It's fearful in my eyes. Many people have gone and see. Even you, you have gotten dreams, seeing people burning. You wake up and you are crying. Oh, you are crying. They are carcass. Some of them are born to school. Call. They are born to school, but they still have life. They are warm diet, no warm eating their body. Warm eating their body. Their fire can never quench. No water, nothing can quench that fire because it is a fire that you don't have. You no power, no water can quench. It's very light. We are, it's burning them. I saw it with these eyes. That's why I'm warning you. If you don't repent today, my brother, 
my sister, you will die and leave the money, you will die and leave the boyfriend, you will die and leave the woman you love so much, the, the husband you love so much that you are disobeying God, you will die and leave the weaver, the makeup, the trousers, you will die and leave the job, and you will die and leave the wall and go and face God for choosing the wall rather than God. Because First John chapter 3, verse 5 to 10 have judged you. Those that love the things of the world. The love of the Father is not in them. And anyone that is a sinner, you are not of God. You are not born again. The Bible has judged you. So it is better you repent today and confess your sin and follow God in holiness and in righteousness. Or else, what I'm going to show you, that is going to be your end forever. <laughs> Ndia hume yere chineke Ebe hana ata huu No kwa alamo Ni guru hadiga huwa huu Mwe mwe mna wego kutata E jire maanya mu E suru mwe bintu mehe Mwe gano kwa alamo huu E boku na mwe somo mado I guru wena anyo hanya Ya merenji webya na Rigi nituromodwa Kichi gari ya Kongara Iti rigi nanjo he that committed sin is of the devil. First John chapter 3 verse 8 I've told you. He that committed sin is of the devil. You are busy saying I bind Satan, I bind Satan when you are a sinner. You are of the devil. Don't bother to bind Satan anymore if you are not righteous because you are a child of the devil. First John chapter 2 verse 15 They love not the world Neither the things that are in the world If any man love the world The love of the father is not in him All the pleasure that you can kill a human before All the love All the clubbing, the carnival The masquerade dancing you love That you cannot obey God The love of Jesus is not in you You are just Christian in mouth You are not Christian for heaven any church that is not telling you to be righteous to come out of this scene to stop your drunkenness to stop your lying your womanizing your rape your lusty your masturbation all this fornication girls dressing naked any church that is not correcting you my sister run because we are at the end time don't compromise don't say eh, i don't want my this is not the time to love church more than your soul if the pastor is not preaching something that will make you to fear god hate sin run for your life and join people that are ready to make heaven that you'll be hearing word that will make you to fear god make you to respect your husband submit to your husband in the way of god are you the husband make you to love your wife respect and care for your wife but where they will be telling you to enjoy your life marry another woman do your life the pastor will be telling you only prosperity you don't fear god run for your life because that kind of message will not take you to heaven I am going to play a video for you A woman that was busy enjoying her life She never knew she's going to die that day She was on top of the club Enjoying the party They are having maybe a um, friend's party Or whatever in the school or whatever. She was busy enjoying See what happened to her She never knew death was following her Unprepared soul. See how she's enjoying. They are hailing her. She never know in the next second she's going to see her creator. She's dancing worldly song. See how she's dying. See how she's dying. See how she's dying. To tell you that human beings don't have power on your own. She have died. Party, party finished. People start crying. I don't know when you will die. Maybe this is the last message. Maybe you will travel, you will not come back. You will be hoping to see December, it cannot happen. Rapture can take place, or you will die. You will be planning something, and it will not happen. Some people wake up in the morning to go to work, to look for a job, to do this, and they will have accidents. See what is going to happen. I want to change. Straight to hell, unprepared soul. Maybe he was taking bribe in the office. Maybe he was a sinner, he's a woman, as I have girlfriend, he's a married man. Now, 
Souls are crying. Souls are dying. Churches are many. But souls are many going to hell. What is the preaching in the church today? Holiness Revival Movement is out to revive the church of making human beings to fear God and serve only God. This movement is here to reflect your mind that you enjoy in sin and forget your where you are going to meet your God. The hell is so hot that as you enter there, your body will not melt off. Hell is a fearful place. You will cry and cry. You will not see your husband there. Your children, you will not see them. Your pastor that you believe that will tell you to enjoy your life, you will not see him or her. Only you will suffer this suffering. The devil will torture you alone. That's why the Bible says salvation is personal. Only you will be in that coffin. Even if you die with your husband, they will bury you separately. That's why I'm talking to you today. You have joined a gang that you are busy robbing people. When death comes, only you will die. Maybe you will die before your gang friends. For a worker in that office, you do corruption. Maybe you die before them. You are a sister, you are busy prostituting. You will die before the man, and you die, you will die before the person you are prostituting with. See the, see the fire. What shall it profit you? See the devil burning people. What shall it profit you? Can you stand fire? It is a punishment. Satan is wicked. Jesus can never repent or change his commandment for any man. This is a life of a, of a man. He live his life in womanizing, enjoying the life, playing, gambling, drinking. Women are fighting for him. And he fell sick. He's in the hospital now. His mind, everything has collapsed around him. All the money he have, all the beauty, everything, the Amazon. Is nobody can save him. Our doctors cannot save him. His life is playing before him now. This is how you waste all your 33 years, 40 years, 50 years on that drinking, playing, gambling, doing one thing or the other. Now he has died. He's taking his last breath on earth. Nobody, no girlfriend can save him now. All the money he has in the bank cannot save him now. Now he has died. The soul is coming out of his body now. The soul is going back for judgment. This is how you will die one day. Your husband will lie by your side. You will die. You can, he cannot wake you up. Your wife will be lying by your side. You will die. She cannot wake you up. Your parents love you so much, they have spoiled you in sin. You are doing whatever thing you like, leaving the house, coming. You will die, they cannot wake you up, the holy cry. Pastor, you have gathered the crowd. Oh, you are looking for a crowd. Now you die, the crowd cannot wake you. You are going to meet God now. He's, su he's surprised to see where he is. You are a witch, you are a wizard, you have killed many people. Your own time will come when you die, nobody will save you. See how they are playing his, they are playing his life before him. He's regretting his life. You did not win souls for God. You did not give God money. You did not build house. Some of you have lands. You have three lands, four lands. You cannot even build there in the next five years. But you are still keeping it. You cannot give God. Some of depart. You, you are a greedy person. They have depart now. You have left that house, that money in the bank. The bank people will eat it. 
You cannot preach the gospel. You are ashamed of preaching Jesus. You are ashamed of dressing holy. Say, ah, I can't live without makeup. Now you are there. Which makeup will save you? This is how people are trooping into hell every day. As the Lord said, depart. This is how they are entering hell. This is how they are entering hell. The demons is there to torture you. Endless torture. Wicked torture that you cannot expect. See the way they are using cutlass on human beings like cow. All this wickedness the Muslims are doing. This is not practical of the demon inside them doing it. This is what is happening in hell. Beheading people is nothing for them in hell. See how people are suffering in the fire. As soon as they touch the fire, the fire will not burn them to skull. The fire is like they have raw acid inside. There is no water there. There is no food there. There is no fresh air there. There is nothing that you will say, oh, thank God today. Hell fire is full of tears. It's full of regrets. It's full of suffering. You will curse God. You will say, God, I did not tell you to create me. Why am I suffering like this? You will regret the church you were attending that did not prepare you. You will regret being a woman following men up and down. You will regret being a man and you are busy cheating on your wife. You will regret being a pastor and you do not preach the truth and you are busy following money and crown. You will regret following the devil. You will regret being an evil and follow tradition and to hell. Please repent today. Sinners repent. You are a drunkard, you are hearing me repent. You are a cultist, repent. You have, you have a shrine in your house, you have a charm you believe in your pillow, in your door, in your bag, in your pocket. Burn it today! You are a prostitute. Repent. Repent. You are a Muslim. You don't believe in Jesus. Repent. Without Jesus, you are nothing. Jesus is the only way. You are a Catholic. You are bound to image. You are using rosary. You are doing all satanic practices. Repent! Catholic practice will not take you to heaven. Repent of all those anointed water they are giving for signs and wonders. All this apron you are carrying. It is a sin. They are the one defiling you. Repent of all this naked dressing. All this seductive dressing. Young lady, repent. Cover your nakedness. You are looking for a man. God will give you a man. It's not why you are naked. See what is happening. See how human beings are suffering. See how people are crying. Nobody will save you. I want to tell you. Nobody will save you. Nobody will save you. Your pastor will not save you. Please repent. Let's be on our feet. I don't know the sin you are hiding. I don't know the sin you are living in. I don't know what you have done in the 90s, in the 60s. I don't know the life you have been living in the village. I don't know what you are doing. Secret sin. It's well. You know what you are doing. You know if you die now, you will not make heaven. You know if the rapture takes place now, you will not make heaven. Sin is smelling all around you. Please, all eyes close. Jesus said, I came for sinners, not the righteous. We are here for sinners. The Igbos that are living their life in sin and say they are Christians. 
If you know you are a sinner, no mind you say you are a leader in the church, you are a pastor, you are whatever. This is not the hour to be pretending to yourself. You know you are a sinner. And you want Jesus to save you. You want Jesus to save you before your time of death or the time of rapture comes. Raise up your hand wherever you are. You want to tell the Lord, Lord, truly I'm a sinner. I'm not fit. I am a fake Christian. I'm a partial Christian. Begin to come in front. Quickly, if you are shaking, you are raising up your hands. When they will be saying the sinner prayer, you are there, you will be repeating it. You are ashamed of Christ. And the Bible says, if you are ashamed of me today, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Come before the Lord today and let the whole world know that you have decided to follow Jesus. Begin to confess your sins. You can die before your parents. And you have done many abortions. You can die before your, your friends. And you are busy taking drugs. You are even selling it. Some of you, your business is open beer parlor. You are busy taking expo in the school, bribing. You are busy sleeping with the pastors. You are the one Satan is using to dirty the church. Begin to confess your sins. As you are coming, confess your sins. You don't obey your husband. You disrespect your husband. You fight your husband. You restrict your body. When your husband wants to make love, he say no until you give me money first. You the husband, you don't love your wife. You beat your wife. You love your girlfriend more than your wife. The woman is crying. You are not taking care of her. You will regret why you married. If you don't do the thing God say. Ask God for mercy. I will sing this song. Then I will hand over to it to the pastor. I will sing it. Then you will sing it with me. You will raise up your hand as I'm singing this song. Because you are going to pray for the Lord to sanctify you. The Lord should give you a new heart, a new eyes to remove the scale, the worldly lifestyle from your eyes and make you to see heaven. Sanctify me, Lord. Purify me, Lord. Make me holy. Lord, make me an image of you. Raise up your hand. Sanctify them, Lord. Purify them, Lord Jesus. Make them holy. Lord, make them an image of you. You make Peter an image of you. You made Deborah an image of you. You make Paul an image of you. Lord, they want to be an image of you. Jesus, they want to be an image of you. For the last time, sanctify me, Lord. Purify me, Lord. Make me holy. Oh, Lord, make me an image of you. Jesus, sanctify me, Lord. Purify me, Lord. Make me holy. Lord, make me an image of you. You make Moses an image of you. You make Isaiah an image of you. You make Mary an image of you. Lord, I want to be an image of you. Jesus, we want to be an image of you begin to tell the lord that you want to be an image in this end time people must see jesus in you in your dressing in your preaching in your talking in your behavior everything about you must be jesus you must be the lifestyle of jesus you must have the characteristics of a true christian begin to ask god to show you mercy
In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, today is a great day in your life. The Lord has done a great work. You still need to pray. You say after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Lord Jesus, I have listened to your word. In every way, I have been disobedient to you. I am sorry. Lord Jesus, I have been disobedient. Forgive me my sins. Lord Jesus, I don't want to go to hell. From today, I reject my sins. I reject all traditions. I reject all stubbornness. I reject all disobedience to you. Lord Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Cleanse me from every unrighteousness. Lord Jesus, be merciful unto me. I want to be your child. Satan, I reject you. I reject all your works. I reject your deception. Satan, I have no business with you again. From today, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I am a child of God. From today, Lord Jesus, give me the power to follow you, to obey you, to serve you. From today, lead me along you, Jesus. Help me, Jesus, to make it to heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. I will pray for you now. You'll be saying, Amen. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for today. This night has been so wonderful. I once again shown the love you have for the boys. That is why this message has come. Ebos don't go to hell. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Because this message has come to the boys. In the town of Fumwa here. In Abia State. We appreciate you, Lord. It's a prayer, King of Glory. That your people show the message. Show the message. Show the message. Father, as many as have come before you today, I have confessed their sins before you. I have handed over their life unto you. For I cleanse them from all their unrighteousness. Take away all their sins of the past. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray that you give them the power to begin to serve you. From today, they will no longer bow to idols. They will no longer bow to Mary. They will no longer worship through the traditional way. They will not dance to masquerade again. They will not be fornicators and adulterers again. They will not be liars and cheaters again. From today, Lord God, they will love you. They will not love money again. They will love you above every other thing. They will love you above the world. In the name of Jesus, give them the power to be your children. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship you, King of Glory. We cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. May the blood of Jesus Christ cover them. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for having done it. For we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen.